Hello team, it's Rich here from Serious Cricket and today we are going to learn how to practice cricket batting, batting with cricket, batting at home with a bat and a ball. Let's get to it. Okay, so obviously we're going to need a bat and then we're going to be confined with some space. So we're either going to be indoors or we're going to be outdoors. And I've absolutely no idea what your garden looks like. Whether it's got hedges, beautiful plants. Don't need those, mum, will, mum or dad will be upset. The windows, Likewise, we could be indoors and you've got a garage space to use. I don't know. So I'm just going to give you a few little thoughts and ideas. Here we go. So first up, a tea and a sponge ball. Now, obviously they can work really well inside. And the plain, ordinary tennis ball works well outside. You can use an Incredi, but it doesn't bounce as much. Um, so I guess, I'm not sure that that works quite as well, but I guess you can use it. Maybe a wind ball as well. Okay, so here we go. So let's go first up. What would I do? So just improve my cricket batting. I'm thinking, I'm tracking the ball here, I'm watching the ball, eye-hand coordination, watch it go up, watch it go down, and just watch it onto the face of the bat, because that's something we've got to do when we're out there batting. Next thing is I can get clever with it. Bosh, all on the sides, brilliant. So, once I've had a little practice at that and I've just got my eyes attuned to what's going on, the next thing I want to try is can I hit the ball continuously into the wall? So you can see, I haven't practiced this very much, have I? So you can go front foot and back foot shapes. The beautiful thing about the different bounces is you don't always know whether it's gonna be a, a front foot or back foot type of hit. Oh, can I keep it going? Ah, he says no. Okay, so that's a good one to keep practicing. It's good for your footwork. Again, you don't know where the ball is. And obviously the other thing it is, it's just good for bat face control. And that's obviously very important when we're looking to hit the ball into different places. So next little thought for us is we can start to get quite clever. So throwing the ball against the wall and hitting it one handed. So you can go top handed first. Now you've noticed I'm quite close here. So I've tried to let that ball bounce once. So let's see. Oh, that moved on the second bounce. So I've let it bounce twice there. The next one I'll try is can I do that with my bottom hand? Oh. Now, by the way, I'm not very good at this one, as you could tell there. Oh, happy with that. I'm going to stop there. Something for me to practice, I think. OK, so another little thought is moving that on a stage. Just put a few cones down to show maybe mid off for me as a, a left hander and mid on. My challenge is to just hit the ball in between those two cones. Oh, now there I didn't watch the ball onto the bat and I'm a disgrace, I've got to go and get it. But isn't that the beauty of practicing at home? You've got all the time in the world. Okay. So I was a better pupil there. I watched the ball onto the, onto the bat. Hit that one straight to mid off and that one straight to mid on and I work really hard just to keep my bat face pointing in those directions. So we've had a little go against the sort of maybe the quicker bowler there or the seam bowler, but I can do something as well against the spinner. There we go. So I can run down the wicket, oh, using my feet and hitting it to those two different zones, mid off and mid on. Good. Right team, so plus another little thing we can do is practice your sweeps. So just a couple of bounces, cool. Step forward. Now I know you've got to be careful how hard you hit the ball here. Um, and if you had the ability to have a net at home, you know one of those pop-up nets you can buy. If you've got one of those where you can really hit the ball hard into it, Brilliant. Obviously, you're going to need space, be able to buy it, which of course you can at Serious Cricket, by the way. We'll put a link in the description below, uh, one of our little pop-up nets. 
Um, so you, you, if you have one of those, you can hit the ball a bit harder. So just being conscious and aware of that. So that's our sweep against the, the spinner. Um, last but not least, we can have a little go off the back foot too, making sure that ball bounces a little higher. Didn't half put you under pressure, by the way, this. And you really have to watch the ball onto the bat. I'm really enjoying this. Can you leave me alone for a while? Two hours later. Oh, hours of fun to be had. Lots of different things to do. We'd love it for you to come and show us what you've been up to practicing at home. So tag us in a link. Give us a thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe to our channel, all that jazz. And of course, please leave a comment below. Don't be so nasty on me though. I did all right. We'll see you next time. Yeah.